10 of the weirdest and worst rated cat toys on Amazon. We'll put them to the test, we'll tell you what's wrong with them, how much they cost, and also what to look out for to help you avoid wasting your money. But first, I'm Ashley, and for the last two months, we've been making a toy comparison chart, making it easy to find the best performing cat toys. Stay tuned to not miss that. Let's get into it. One, do your cats enjoy watching birds? Well, this toy promises to bring that fun indoors. Meet the flying bird. Now, if you're anything like us, you probably try putting on cat TV to allow your cats to watch birds from your sofa, right? Well, we tried that with our new boys, but after seeing one of them try and take off the TV from the wall, we decided that there were probably other forms of entertainment. Surely this toy with its pigeon sized body and flapping wings would be perfect, right? The toy attaches to the ceiling via a sticky pad, but as soon as you switch on, the wings go absolutely berserk, making one hell of a noise. It's impossible to ignore, but it gets worse. The toy just dangles there, thrashing away, waiting for your cat to bring it crashing down. And what's worse is even if your cats don't run away from the sound, the bird essentially becomes broken with even the slightest of taps. So at six pounds, it's landfill material masquerading as a trendy toy for social media clips. Let me know as well if you have any tips on how to get this sticky pad off the ceiling because it's driving me nuts. Two, next up is the Shara cat wheel. Now I've never had or wants to rip a toy apart more before, but this one made me do it. Do you remember the episode of Friends where Phoebe's fire alarm goes off? No matter what she did, including disconnecting and smashing it, it just kept beeping, right? Yeah, well, that fire alarm has nothing on this cat toy. It has three features, a catnip ball, two wheels for movement, and this constant loud bird call that repeats every two minutes every single time this toy is moved. Now, the name itself is even a brain twister, Shat, which pretty much sums up this toy. Now, the noise was unbearable and our cats fled. Honestly, the manufacturer must have worked on Apple's alarm team or something. So after ripping out the sound device, the toy did scoot about nicely, which did catch Wolf's interest. But at £10, there are much better options that won't make you want to wish for earplugs. Three, what happens if you combine a fake life-size rat with wheels and a remote control? Well, initially, Oreo and Wolf were unsure about this. And I have to admit also, seeing something like this scurry around our house gave me the creeps as well. So not joking, I once came across a small field mouse in our shed and it freaked me out. So for styling wise, it's a complete no from me. So put the cats aside for a second. For me, it was great fun. In full reverse, this thing pulls off the slickest J-turns that not even a Need for Speed film could hope to pull off. It certainly succeeded in bringing out my inner child, but I guess you're here because of cats, not here about me being a man child. Anyway, this toy comes with hidden costs. Beside the original £13 purchase price, it also requires five batteries, which brings a total to near 30 quid. And beyond the cost, you'd probably expect a remote controlled toy to work from a reasonable, say, distance, right? Well, not this one. This toy has a limited, and I'm not joking, three meter range. And since the most fun comes from zooming it out of your cat's line of sight, you essentially end up just chasing it around the house, which is kind of reminiscent of Tom and Jerry. Additionally, it doesn't work on carpet, it's excessively noisy, and has small parts that can be easily detached. So in conclusion, this toy is much better suited as a Halloween prank. Four, we use this silicon collar toy, but not in the way you'd expect. So when we thought of this video idea, we saw people like Jason Galaxy react to it and we knew we just had to include this one on the list. The silicon collar has size adjustments and a key feature, the feather wand attachment, which essentially works a little bit like a carrot on a stick. Now there are many versions of this online, but they all broadly follow these same themes. The toy is designed to have a feather in front of the cat whilst they run around trying to catch it. To be honest though, this toy makes me kind of angry. It is completely unethical, a toy forever unreachable. Equally, the collar poses a serious risk of strangulation or neck injury if this got caught whilst your cats are running around. Furthermore, the low quality feather wand sheds easily. That shouldn't really be surprised though considering the £2 purchase price. Honestly, a fishing rod offers much better playtime for you and your cats. So rather than strapping this to our cats, I actually strapped it around my ankle and then just run around the house. The cats had great fun watching me, although I'm not really sure whether the feathers actually added much of the entertainment value. Anyway, I hope this raises awareness of the issues with this toy. Five, these tossed and flip chips are super weird. Honestly, I've never really seen a toy like this before. So these look like poker chips that got lost in a catnip factory and then decided to embrace their new feline friendly life. The toy is made of a very thin textured rubber 
and absolutely reeks of catnip. So it wibbles and wobbles briefly when placed on the ground, but then just kind of becomes motionless. Wolf was intrigued for a good few minutes as he enjoyed tapping them, picking them up with his teeth and flicking them. Oreo, on the other hand, he was initially drawn to them, but then become quite skittish when he touched them. And honestly, I don't blame him. They feel kind of like a sloppy wet fish. Ooh. Brother, ooh. After a few minutes, Wolf gave up and went to play with something else. The only saving grace here is that they only cost three pounds. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Have you noticed something strange about these products? Obviously, aside from their poor quality. When we started this video, we found the same products, but under different made up brand names. Now, these listings look suspiciously similar, so we dug a little bit deeper. So big batches of products are brought from factories, usually from China. China! and then they're stamped with a made-up brand and then sold on Amazon. So how much of a big deal is this? Well, check this out. In January 2021, a whopping 75% of new Amazon sellers were based in China, a jump of 47% from the year before. Now, this report points out that most Amazon shoppers just don't know where these sellers are from. They often think that they're buying from, say, like a regular store. This influx brings more products that boost competitions, which drives down prices, which is a huge win for consumers. However, it also raises concerns about fake items. For instance, let's say a low quality £2 USB cable dying. I mean, that's kind of annoying. But if a cheap cat toy poses a choking hazard or is made of a toxic materials, then we're talking about a serious problem. So I bet you're probably thinking, well, I'll just check the reviews so I don't get scammed. Sadly, it gets much worse. Another report from 2024 highlighted how fake review companies opens up thousands of zombie accounts to leave positive review ratings, which makes it much more difficult to know what to trust. So essentially what I'm describing is a practice called private labeling. But private labeling isn't exactly new. Supermarket brands and even Amazon have been doing this for years under separate brand names like Amazon Basics, which I might add is facing growing scrutiny from regulators across the world but this is a much more extreme version of that. So before buying pet supplies on Amazon, check the brand name. If you click onto it, you can also see what other things that they're selling. Share this info with other cat owners to raise awareness. At the end of this video, we'll add these toys to our score chart to highlight the issue and to suggest better options. And if you're on the hunt for other cat toys, we recommend starting with trusted brands like Cat It, Kong or Trixie if you, if you really wanna be safe. Okay, now let's speed through the last five toys. Let's get back to the video. Six, an emoji shaped cat toy. But the question is, is this the right emoji? The toy is a small pillow with crinkly plastic ribbons and colorful balls attached with hot glue. It contains a small amount of catnip. Oreo liked the plastic ribbons, but they began shedding very quickly and they could easily be torn from the toy. The appropriate emoji to use here would have probably been this one. Seven, what's not to love about wooden chew sticks? Well, it turns out plenty. This toy is made from a catnip soap rope wrapped around old plastic straws, which is supposed to help keep your cat's teeth cleaned. Now, the catnip certainly attracted Wolf. I need no catnip. Self-control, I don't please. even know what that means. But the toy fell apart almost immediately, becoming a choking hazard. Sadly, there just isn't much to love about this one after all. Eight, you can't go wrong with a cute dragonfly cat wand. Or can you? Wizard Harry. Now, this wand features a very small dragonfly and a bell for added jingle during playtime. While it might look cute, it's disappointingly fragile. In fact, one broke as soon as we took it out of the packet. So everything is wrong with this one. It was so bad, in fact, we didn't even let our cats near this one. Nine, how long do you expect a cat toy to normally last? One, maybe two years? Well, despite the clever design of this hanging door swing that did actually attract and engage our cats, this toy just didn't hold up. Oreo destroyed it, and I'm not joking, in seven minutes, ripping off the mouse's ears. So not exactly built to last this one. 10, have you ever tried putting away laundry only to have your cats go crazy for your hoozy tassels? Now this last toy had the same irresistible dangle, but of a serious safety issue. There was a hard material poking through the fabric, so we had to end playtime immediately. Oh my God, what is that? It's just not safe for our cats. All right, time to score and add these toys to our toy comparison chart. Oh, and if you find this useful, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on good, new, interesting toys. While some of these toys did well in certain areas, to be a good toy, it requires a good, consistent score across all of the attributes. As you'd expect, these populate the bottom of our chart. But what if I told you there are ways to check and avoid bad cat toys in the first place? 
Now, I haven't been at this for over 13 years. We shared our tips alongside discussing a smart interactive toy that we saw on TikTok, but turned out to be so bad we actually bought it twice. Check out this video here. Click one of the links in the video description if you want to find out more about the toys mentioned. Thank you for watching and see you soon.